So Janine, if we can again take a look at the whole issue of narrative. Mm. One of the very common or popular often heard sayings these days is in reference to so-called fake news. Mm -hmm. Broadly, I think a lot of people are questioning the narrative that they are getting through the MSM, the mainstream media. Maybe you could touch a bit on, on what your research has revealed mm -hmm. in relation to what we're being told as to what may really be happening. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, under Hitler's Nazi Germany, there was a principle that the propagandist arm um, of Nazism used, and that principle was, if you tell a lie big enough and often enough, people will believe it. So propaganda is something that has been used by countries, by um, communism, by Nazism, etc., you know, for a very long time now. So it's we're quite aware that, that you know these kinds of techniques are used. Do we have any evidence that we are under a propaganda attack? Okay, I'd like to share a couple of quotes. One of them is from the CIA director in 1981, William Casey. He stated, we all know our disinformation program is complete when everything the American public believes is false. There's a news documentary out called Outfoxed and it is by uh, employees who worked for Fox News and who worked for the Murdoch uh, Media Empire and they are out there revealing the experience that they had in being coerced into following a, an agenda of news and the kinds of tactics that were used to punish them and to control them and coerce them. Now I found it very interesting watching that because I've been reporting since 1994 and I had a talking head um, contact me from Western Australia and he was a news reporter. He was, uh, he was out there on the stories and he would bring them to the, uh, to the state every evening in his news reports. And he told me back then, this was around about 1996, that he was being, um, he was being watched. He found a camera in his television set uh, and he found this because he would come into work every day and because he wasn't following the agenda, the prescribed agenda that would be tabled for him when he would get into work, these are the stories you have to focus on. If he went off cue, he was finding um, other employees in the organisation were laughing at him and mocking uh, about events that had taken place secretly in his home the night before and he uncovered a a camera in his television that was watching everything that was going on and they were using that to intimidate him. And so this is the kind of thing that the um, Outfoxed reports on. Now, let's look at um, the name of the virus. Let's look at um, some of the, the words that are being used because the power that is behind this virus attack, um, they are involved in all forms of um, occult methods of communicating and they, they communicate in code. So we want to decode, this is what I am, I'm news decoded, we want to decode what are they communicating. So let's look at the term novel corona virus. So the word novel, um, now they often turn things backwards. So let's turn the word novel backwards. Novel means new, it's French. Um, but let's turn it backwards. Uh, if we turn it backwards, we get the word Levon, and Levon means lion. And the word corona, um, the, the word corona has many very interesting meanings. It has a meaning in the electrical world as being a the, the reflection of light around an, an electrical um, manifestation. Um, Would that be something like a halo? Kind of like a halo, yes. And, and it, um, a corona is the light that you see around the, the eclipse of the sun. So if you have an eclipse of the moon or eclipse of the sun, um, you have this corona light 
And so that is another meaning of the word corona. It also means crowned. So you have the crowned lion. Um, now, I'll just share right up front this information I'll go into a bit more, but the World Economic Forum website is rolling out COVID ID as world government. And it is um, displayed on the website as a sun. And the corona rays of this sun are the different elements, the different aspects of world government. It's like lots of little lines. You know, when you're a little kid, you draw a sun, you draw the circle, and you draw all the lines. Well, all of those lines are all the different aspects of this world government. So now we're getting into what is the understory underneath the narrative. Um, so this is what the this is what is the understory. The understory is is that this is rolling out world government and the solutions to this virus are the elements of world government. So no, we're not going back to normal. We're not life will not be going back to normal under this world government. This is being rolled out in every country of the world. Um, there's a uniformity and a universality of these um, various policies. So we have to ask, how did that happen just so perfectly, so well oiled, so smoothly? This world government has been planned for 50 years and it's rolling out 24 seven and it's connected to artificial intelligence on the World Economic Forum website. So you can go on there, you can become a member and you can take a good look around on the website and you'll see. So we've gone into the narrative there, but I just want to go one step back again and just ask, okay, we've looked at novel Corona, the crowned lion. So that raises very many questions about who is this crowned lion. Um, I am led to believe that there is a man in the world at the moment who is saying that he should be the real king of England and he should be the person who is in Buckingham Palace. Um, he, he says that he has put all of the governments on notice and he also says that he is the Christ. He says that he is the Messiah. I have heard similar stories. I don't know if it refers to or pertains to the same gentleman that you're discussing. Yes. I had some information uh, from somebody residing in New Zealand who claimed that he's related to the royals. Yes. Or, in fact, deserves to be the wearer of the crown on the corona. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so, there's a few things about him because I've been watching this for some time because, yes, there is a plan for world government. There has been a plan for world government for many years. Um, I'm going to read out some quotes about the, the plan. Um, there is not just a plan for world government, there's a plan for world religion and there's also a plan for a, a person to head this world government. And I suspect that this man could be the contender for this position. His name is um, Gregory Joseph Hallett. Is he the man that you had come across? I was given some information on a New Zealander called Greg Hallett. Yes. Basically, the information that came to me was more along the lines of, well, why doesn't the Glossa Channel go to New Zealand and interview the fellow? Yeah, okay, right. I don't know enough about him to embark on that sort of journey, especially at a time like this with the collapse of airlines and border closures. I've heard good and bad information, so I'm, I'm in two minds about it. I'm, I, I can't speak authoritatively on the channel. No problem. Okay, so because he has used the term, or somebody regarding him has used the term world teacher, this is a name for the New Age Christ who is connected to the plan for the world uh, government and the world religion. So let's just take a little look at these plans now. Oh, but sorry, before we do that, I wanted to talk about COVID very quickly. What does COVID-19 stand for? Is it an acronym? Well, it, a lot of people are pretty convinced that it is an acronym for, for, this, um, for these terms. Uh, COVID. So C is for certificate, O is for of, V is for vaccination and ID is for identification. So certificate of vaccination ID. Now we've already heard Bill Gates saying that the world is going to need a certificate of vaccination ID to be able to open up the world again. And he has sworn with both hands in the air saying the world's not going to go back to normal until the whole world is vaccinated. 
And so um, the 19, you've got a dash and then you've got 19. If you put the dash upright, you've got 119. If you turn it back to front, you've got 911. Okay, 911, let's decode 911. 911 is the number in Roman numerals that is on the Jesuits ring that they wear and it's a, it's a 1XX1. Now this uh, Roman uh, numeral was put up on a huge billboard at the site of 911, at the site of um, Ground Zero. Um, indicating who did it. And this is their signature. 